Hey guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Jade and this is Keeping Up With The Kennys. On our channel, we talk about personal finance, personal development, frugal living, and our debt-free life. If any of those things sound interesting to you, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so that you get notified anytime that we post new videos. <sighs> Today, our video got ruined. <laughs> our audio is terrible. So here I am sitting in our bed making a new video in my robe for you guys. Good morning. <laughs> Cause life happens sometimes, you know, when you work full time and you're doing this on the side and that's just how it goes sometimes. So today, instead of the normal video we were going to shoot or we did shoot with Matt and I, it's just gonna be me talking to you guys about literally my favorite app in the entire world. And that is the Libby app. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, so the Libby app is a free app that you can get from your library. There are also apps like Hoopla and Overdrive. And actually, Libby is Libby by Overdrive. So technically, I think that they're the same, but I don't 100% know. I just downloaded Overdrive the other day onto my phone, and I'm going to also download Hoopla to kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison of them all to see which one's the best, which layout is the nicest, and which one I like the best. So there are a lot of things about Libby that I like and I want to get into in this video. The very first thing, obviously, that it's free. So the Libby app, just like your library, is free to use. The app itself is a free download and then anything that you get off of it is free. I know somebody in the comments is gonna be like, the library is not free because you pay for it with your taxes. Fine, you're right. You do pay for it. Whatever. Anyways. It's free because you've already paid for it for years in your taxes and now you get to benefit from that. That is honestly the biggest thing and that's, I'm gonna get into all of the ways that Libby has changed my, like, my life in the sense of how much it's allowed for me to continue to learn and continue to grow and all of these things because it's made reading so much more accessible to me. And I am so thankful for that because without this app, I don't think I would have spent $20 a book on half of these books that I've read. And I wouldn't have learned all of the wonderful things that I have learned from these books because that would have been a barrier to entry for me because it's expensive to buy all of these books to read one or maybe two times. So this app gets rid of that. And I think that that's really cool. So the second thing that I love about the Libby app is that there is not only books that you can, you can read on your phone if you don't have any reader, but you can, it downloads to your like Kindle and you can read it wherever once it's downloaded on there. So lane rides you only have to bring your kindle or your phone you don't have to pack i used to bring like three or four books and like what kind of mood will i be in who knows and now i have my kindle and my kindle has all my books or it has my library books on it and i can just read one thing and it's tiny and fits in my backpack you know and so that's the second thing that i absolutely love is that it is kindle compatible, I guess you would say. And that's just an awesome thing to me because that's one of the best gifts that Matt has gotten me. I love my Kindle. I use it all the time. I love that it's waterproof. I can read it in the pool. I can read it, you know, I don't have to worry about it getting wet. I just, I love my Kindle. It was a good purchase on his part. The third thing that I love about the Libby app is that there are also audiobooks on there. So most of you probably know that I commute to and from work by now. 
and I commute like 35 to 40 minutes each way. Plus, I work at a big hospital in St. Louis. My walk into work is 15, 10 to 15 minutes. That's a pretty far walk into work. So I also listen to stuff on my way to and from just my car. So the fact that they have audiobooks, I now listen to an audiobook on my way to and from work and on my way to and from my car to my job. And that gives me like an extra hour and a half of reading a day that I wouldn't have otherwise. And this allowed me to for free see if I even like audiobooks because I was a firm believer that I would not like them. I was like, I don't want to listen to it. I'm not going to retain any information. Like, I need the book in front of me. And that's just not true. I have gotten so much more out of audiobooks because they're just so much easier to fit into my life. And it adds nothing to my day other than benefit. And it's time that I would have, would have passed anyways that would have been wasted. I can listen to it to and from work because I'm able to play it through my car. The fourth thing that I love about the Libby app is that there are no, and I mean no, late fees. So this might just be a me thing. I can take care of an ECMO patient. I titrate drips at work all day and save people's lives and it's wonderful and amazing. And then I get home and I do things like forget to return my library books. Because apparently that's too difficult to remember. But the Libby app automatically returns it for you. It's like, hey, you're running out of time. It gives you normally a day's notice. And it's like, this your thing is going to be returned soon. Like, finish up reading it or whatever. Or you can actually, that day you can place your new hold if there's a hold on the book. Or you can renew it if there is no hold. And... There are no late fees, which is awesome for me because like I said, I just always forget, always forget to return my books. I suck. I suck. What can I say? It is automatically ready. Once the hold is up, it goes, your hold is ready to be checked out and you can actually just bump yourself another person in line if you um, are reading something else. Like I have done this countless times is that my hold is up and it's ready to be checked out but i am like i said right now i'm listening to think like a monk and i prefer to listen to one thing all the way through that's just how i like to go about it but if you want to start five books at one time and read a little bit of each one every day or however you want to go about doing it you do you you can do both that's one of the other wonderful things but I will give up my spot as the next person and put myself two weeks out so that I have that time to finish the book that I'm reading, but then I'm the next person in line. So I don't have to go all the way back because there are sometimes five, nine, 12 week waiting lists on some of these books, especially the really popular ones. So it's nice that I don't go all the way back to the end because if you give up your hold at the actual library, it's gone. Your hold is up and you lost that book now. All right, the fifth thing that I love about the Libby app is that you are able to highlight and save your spot. So it automatically tracks where you are in the audiobook, in the regular book. It tells you what percentage you are done with it, which is really nice for like a visual of like, okay, I've done 50%, it's due in five days, I need to like either hurry up or I can take my time, whatever. And the nice thing is, is that when you renew it, it remembers where you were at. That's awesome for if you don't get through the whole book, that if you put a hold on it or if you renew it again, that it remembers where you were and so it's not kicking you to the beginning and you're trying to find your place within it. I love that. And every time you open it up, you're not having to save a page because it automatically saves for you. I love that part of it. And the sixth thing is that 
it allows you to highlight your actual phrases that you love or whatever. And it keeps that data too for the next time that you have the book. So it's pretty cool all of the things that Libby does to make reading so much easier and so much better. I just love it so much and that's why I wanted to come on here and talk about it. As one of the girls at work yesterday, she was like, oh, do you have any good books? And I was like, yeah, I have like audiobooks or like Kindle books if, you know, most of the things I read are that way. If you, you know, and she's like, yeah, I just found this app. And I went, Libby? And she goes, no one else knows what it is. <laughs> And I realized I need to make a video because no one knows what it is and it makes me sad because it's so good. <sighs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that I have wanted to make it for a long time and I should have just made it before because I love the Libby app so much. And like I said, I will do a side-by-side -side comparison now of Overdrive and Hoopla because they're similar, but are they as good? I don't know. I love Libby. They're gonna have to beat that. So it might be kind of difficult. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.